All right, let's check this out in full here. 103.7 NNJ, here's Pink Floyd. All right, cool. And looking at the notes, since I was slightly confused there, you definitely want to have him sl uh, slam this because he is, because he doesn't care anymore, right? This is the note there. He starts to sit back and then drops his weight back in the chair. Cool. It's interesting. It's uh, it's it's almost a bit less of one, more of the other. Just looking at your previous notes that were explained the ending a bit. And you're probably at this point rolling your eyes, and I completely understand. So here are my my uh, my thoughts here. This is all cool. 1037 NNJ. This still feels a bit subdued here. 1037 NNJ. Where it all. I know he gets into a, a bit of an arc through there, but if you can still have a little bit of head business and some rotation in Y. 1037 NNJ. Especially on NNJ. NNJ with a little bit of anticipation and bit of a curve in there feels a bit simple through there and just generally watch out that arm has i think in its rest pose an arc like that and i'll bring it back a bit for a for a curvature like that that's all cool i wonder if we can change the lighting a bit so that that's my dog in the back. Huh? <laughs> we can hear it. Um, if you can put it in the light, so that would, so we can separate the eyebrow just a bit more. Because since we don't see his eyes, I wonder if, you, if there's anything you want to do with a bit of a thought process and a change in there. Because right now, it's just kind of a lean forward with this. And I'm just curious. It, it doesn't have to be. I'm just curious if you want to push this a bit more. Where I mean, all of this is fairly dead. If there's something where he might start open mouth and kind of a get ready or close mouth and then a like a bit of an inhale just a bit of a change in there a little bit 1037 and that's all cool i still love that he goes forward and, and lifts it up for the tension i think that's great 1037 nnj and i think the and nnj to bring up that corner to see more of the upper teeth for NNJ. Seven, N because he's still in that pretend mode and trying to have the energy to give this final potential broadcast there. Seven, NNJ. Here's P NNJ. Seven, N and then play a bit more with your eyebrows and the lids there. Since you are in uh, polish mode. 1037, NNJ. It just feels like NNJ. I mean, it could be a bit more serious, a bit more NNJ. With a bit more of a, of a squint and a bit more tension there because he has his eyebrows go up here. 1037. 37. 1037. 1037. They're a bit fast. You might want to hold these a bit longer and then push this so it's less of that shape going up, but a change in shape. So you have a bit more exaggeration there. 1037. NNJ. Here's Pink Floyd. But that's cool. Here's Pink Floyd. Here's a thought for you, since I like this. What if we, because you're starting that arc, what if we end in this in terms of how it's facing the audience? Meaning that, see how it turns, but imagine he ends up this in an orientation. Go back here. Where it's a bit more like that, even a bit more, a slight bigger tilt this way, a bit more towards us. So you start that arc that you have, to lean into this so we feel we see a bit more in the face so that when he goes here he can turn again to be more profile so there's just a bit more contrast because i'm slightly concerned as to the angles here it doesn't have to be, be big this can still be a slight change in polish since we don't want we don't want to change massively here pink floyd pink floyd pink floyd and maybe you can start this two three frames earlier so that you can hold this two, three frames. Because you mentioned this as a forceful, and I wonder if that could be the last bit of a hold. Like, you know, again, even if it's just two, three frames hold, and then, bam, for that. 
Boyd. But I would definitely have, if this is a bit more forceful, there's something here that feels a bit soft as you go down, maybe a bit a bigger drop, a little bit more of a slump. Just even if it's, you know, from this line going down to here, it's a bit more impact and oh, exhale. And then as those arms go up, especially here, I feel like they need more influence here where that the spine leans towards us and this goes up, leans a bit back, a bit more a bit more in Y, just a bit more body reaction. The same in the head. So you do this, and then as he does this, arm goes up, body moves over, head tilts over, or maybe even tilts towards us so that you want to bring that cup higher for the hands, you know, so that the hand can take this off. Same thing here. Like you want to present this cup to this hand in a way. So as I'm doing this here, like I would take this and kind of present it to the hands. So it's kind of like take this off versus that. You, so you have stuff here and you want to kind of either like go this way. And especially if he's tired, it wouldn't be, I need to make that whole effort to bring that hand back. But it's more like this and then blah, blah, blah. So maybe think about that as you, as you do your posing there. Because as you do this, it feels a bit like that section and the head. Are just too locked and this is a separate move you look at arms chest and head are just so not influenced by it and that would be that would be my suggestion there and then what i was saying about that i like your what you explained last time that it's kind of this forceful slump back of oh uh, where what i would then do is that see how it eases in just in your just move that into more of a of a linear key not super linear for a pop but it's almost like see how this leans back you can maybe exaggerate in that chair it doesn't lean back so early and it's more of a hit like he goes back and it's a forceful hit where it's a bit more of a pop there in that chair because this is good what i was reacting a lot before was how the forward move feels really fast like someone's being pulled back uh, pulled forward so that could be a, maybe a bit more forceful to push the idea that you have, which I like. But then that forward is great. So this is great. Don't change that. And I love that. The fingers on the face, that's really cool. It's a bit, I would, this feels a bit too cavey. I know this is tricky. Is there a way to maybe scale the whole thing? So it doesn't feel like you got that crease break there. And it's a bit sharp if I look at the chin line. Watch this. And beep, it's a bit fast. It's almost like, like maybe even if it's just a frame or two of a transition of this. It might even be just reducing the scale. I'm not sure what you're doing here for the for the exhale for that for that breathing, but maybe reducing the amount so it's not so such a difference, right? If you go back and forth, it really feels like a cave in there caving in not a cave in there <laughs> so cool i really like that ending especially that that inhale like that works really well that whole combination with the, especially with the fingers over the face it's very tactile super super cool all right that's it thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whenever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you